previously. Yes, we need this information. Now. Hi guys, it's the middle of the invasion and I want to f see what would be a good thing for me to wear. The most important things are all up. So, yeah. We'll go for Lumen, Sense Magic, and Resist Magic. You close your eyes and learn to feel the magic inside you. I think that this outfit will be appropriate for our invasion. By a foreign power. You increase your awareness of your own thoughts and emotions, making it more difficult for mind affecting magic to twist your reactions. The invasion of Nova is proceeding. Your coastline is under Shenjian control. Soldiers have marched through villages, trampling fields, and frightening citizens. A diplomatic delegation from Shanjia has requested access to the castle to discuss terms, and most likely for your surrender. You lack the strength to hold off their armies, and surrendering now will save many lives. It would seem that you have no choice. Almost no choice. Your fiancé, the Duke Talarist of Sedna, has sent you a message. He does not personally command enough soldiers to turn the tide against this invasion. But his king in Talais is eager to discuss a formal alliance. If you flee the capital now, you should be able to evade the army and reach the Talassian border. No. We have the option to run because of our engagement, though. In which case, we will plan to invade the country again later. You prepare yourself as best you can to meet with the representatives from Shenjia. Music change. You expect a diplomat and a military representative, a general or an admiral. You did not expect the handsome man decked in jewels who now stands before you. A man announced by your servants as Togami, king of Shanjia. King consort he should be, if even that much. He's a common musician who married his way onto the throne. And of course, he's... Got white hair, red eyes. You know, normal. Actually, like, every guy in this thing's had, like, the same face. You know, the gorgeous, bishy, whatever, sparkles, probably has roses or something, I don't know. My dear young lady, how difficult this must be for you. So much responsibility at such a tender age. Oh, wow. Don't pretend to be my friend while you're killing my people. Temper, temper, princess. After all, I'm here to save your people. War benefits no one, don't you think? Such a terrible waste. Better to settle things in a civilized manner. A contest. A game, so to speak. With Nova as the stakes. Should I win, then your domain will submit. And accept me as overlord with no further resistance. Should I lose, then my army will leave your domain in peace and shed no more blood. What sort of game? I would have the afraid look, too. It is well known that Nova is ruled by Lumens. As it happens, I, too, possess the powers of a Lumen. I propose a formal duel. My powers against yours. The winner takes control of Nova. The loser dies. Yeah. Your game by your rules for my life? That doesn't sound fair to me. The rules of formal dueling have been passed down for centuries and must be upheld. It is important that we do this by the ancient codes. What he isn't telling us is that this is how our mother died, battling him in a duel. He, either he or our mother, didn't do it exactly by the ancient codes. Why should I? If you refuse, then the war will continue. I'll sweeten the deal. If you meet me in a formal Lumen challenge, I'll call off the invasion even if I win. Really? And he's good to his word about it. I swear it's by the gods. Nova will be safe, free and safe. Why take that risk? You're winning the war. It's not your land that I want, it's your crystal. Yep, he tried to get it from our mother and killed her. But didn't do it exactly the way it was supposed to be done. Likewise, if we had never gotten the crystal and uh, had no magic at all at this point, our father would actually battle him and win. But our 
father's brain would be broken and he would just be drooling and for the rest of his life. To gain your power, I am willing to wager my own. Shall we begin? I don't like this, but what choice do I have? For an intelligence success. He was a musician once, before he married his way into power. Can I use that? Yes. Dear God, I hope I've got everything right. Wait! We're civilized people here! And if I might die, I need to compose myself first. You have only one chance for this. One hope to touch the heart of the man beneath the monster. You know so little about him, but he is a father who was once a musician. Music may reach him where nothing else can, and so you begin your favorite song. You were afraid he would be impatient and order you to stop, but it seems that at least for a moment, he is listening. Pretty. What is it? Something my mother used to sing to me. She was the queen. She was always so busy, but she loved me. And she had time to be with me, to hold me, to play and sing. I miss those moments. Are you crying? How pathetic. Don't you sing to your children? Yes! Public speaking! <clears throat> if we didn't have that, she would be lost for words right now. And we would enter the duel and die. That is no business of yours. Isn't it? If we fight, if I defeat you somehow, then your children will miss those songs. Well then, perhaps you had better lose. And what happens then? What? When you've killed me and taken my crystal, what do you do then? You came from nothing and made yourself a king, but that wasn't enough for you. So you pushed the boundaries, you conquered territory, you came after Nova, after me. Do you go home to your children? Or do you go after another crystal, another domain? Be quiet, you know nothing of the world. You have the world, but if you're not happy, what's the point? From the shocked murmurs on the part of the shang delegation, you can guess that no one has dared to talk to the king like this in a long, long time. Because he's killed everyone who dares. Otherwise, you hold your ground, meeting his gaze with your own, willing him to listen to you. YES! Music change. Yes! Yes! If your presence isn't high enough, he just backhands you, tells you no one speaks to me like that, and then kills you. It doesn't have to be like this. You and I, we could be friends. We could learn from each other. We could be a part of something greater than ourselves. A new peace. And you can sing to your children. I have not sung in a very long time. I'll teach you my songs. You hold out your hands to him open and empty. We can do this together. For a long moment he stands frozen. Then at last he sighs and places his hand in yours. And just like that, the war is over. Yes! <clears throat> yes! 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 <laughs> We ended the war with the power of music and friendship and love. Yes! And we go to church! <laughs> Words cannot express how happy I am right now.